Smart on the Coliseum. No one giving any room. And Jericho Cruz has been rising above everyone else. What a performance from Jericho here today. Oh, definitely. Jer this, is the, this is the night of Jericho Cruz. He can't seem to miss. And, and most of the time, he makes those three-pointers on very crucial parts of the game. Just like now, with 51 sec with fifth, almost 52 seconds remaining in the game, he was able to get that three to give them a six-point lead. And now it's the turn of Magnolia to come up with a big play that could get them back and cut this lead down to, to uh, at least one or two points. Oh, coach, right now, you know, you go the other way. If Magnolia hit a three here, it's still a one-possession ball game. That's right. And everyone can play for it. But then if there is one guy who has been imposing himself in this game, it is this one, Jericho Cruz in the corner, who hit a big three in front of the guy who normally hits big threes in Paul Lee. <laughs> That's right. I think Paul Lee forgot um, Cruz open in the in the corner. Well, he had all the time that he needed, talking yep. about Jericho Cruz. And what a game he's been having here today. As we take a look at his career high performance here, Jericho Cruz, 30 points. He had 11 in game four and eight of 14 in wow. this Very game. Very impressive, impressive numbers. Playoff career high, rather. This is playoff career high. What a time to get your career high in the playoffs. <laughs> Second. But then if you're Magnolia, you're going to be happy that you can at least get a couple of free throws in here with a 48.9 left. That's right. Jay has to earn his points from the free throw line. These are crucial free throws for Bay. It's Tyler Bay. We'll try to add on a few more. Jericho Cruz had 30 points last time around in the 2022 Philippine Cup eliminations versus TNT and a 115 to 99 win. Let's see. It also equals his career high, by the way. That's right. Let's see what uh, San Miguel will do as we and we expect Magnolia to press full court press after this free throw. Yeah, because uh, they're now with a <laughs> That's a good way of breaking breaking the press. Uh -oh. A timeout. A timeout. Excite tayo ng lahat. And uh, right now, we will hold on to this one, 102 to 98. But coach, uh, the math still works here for Magnolia. There's still a lot of time in this ball game. They just need to get a stop here. But at the moment, how do you stop a guy like Jericho Cruz? Because it feels like he's been hitting all the crucial baskets. And in the very last possession, coach, maybe left a bit too wide open. Yeah. Well, most of the time, the, the he, he gets open on the penetration of CJ Perez. So probably Magnolia now is telling so Coach Cheeto is telling his players stay with Jericho Cruz. Do not help on any penetration just to avoid those uh, open looks for Jericho Cruz. Well, there have been so many hot hands, but no hand is as hot as a Jericho Cruz here today. On the other end, Coach, you know, you're the San Miguel Beard man. You're going to try to manage this ball game. You have to make sure that you do not succumb to the pressure defense of a Magnolia team that is known for forcing turnovers. Well, if they can beat this press, I'm sure they're going to go to Junmar in the post because Magnolia has a small lineup right now. Oh, well, Ian is coming in. Yeah, now. I was going to say, <laughs> uh, very tactical. But at the same time, they're, they're not going to elect to get this at the... So he's not going to stop because uh, they're inbounding from the backcourt. Yeah. So, so if, if they were inbounding at the half uh, front court, then probably Ian will come in. Hey, you want to take a date to Valentine's Day in Smart Ernesto Coliseum? That is because Game 6 is going to be then. Live on RPTV, TV Rush, Filipinas Live. And of course, uh, we'll see you all here with your loved ones. If you're single, you can be here. Of course, we FD natin, uh, with all of that. All right, so great pressure defense being shown here from Magnolia to start out with. And CJ Perez gets away from Mark Barroca. Jericho Cruz will slow things down. Now they're going to go to June Mark. Or a top ball screen? We'll find out with Benny Boatwright offering that. They switch things here. They get to Benny Boatwright on the attack and the foul. 
Will that be on the shot here? Either way, it doesn't matter. It looks like free throws here for Benny Boatwright. Yeah, yep, that's a good uh, decision by C.J. Perez to get that ball in the post. And uh, fortunately, they were able to get a foul. Even if he makes these two free throws, coach, it's still going to be a two-possession ball game. A bit harder, obviously, having to hit two threes instead of two twos. So um, after this free throw, I don't think uh, Magnolia has any more timeouts. So they'll use a sub here, and they're going to bring in a shooter in Aris Dionisio, because, again, three-pointers yep. needed here. Aris Dionisio already with a couple threes in this game. He has six points here. Then you also have Paul Lee, who can hit a couple of threes. Gio Halalon actually had a hot hand in the first quarter and in the first half has hit a couple of threes as well. And of course, we all know what Mark Baroja can do and Tyler Bay already has 34 here today. Yes, San Miguel has matched up with this uh, lineup of Magnolia. And the Magnolia hot shots go back to the drawing board and will enter game number six with their backs against the wall. Is there any question? on who's gonna be our best 